Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a story time, the part two of my Sir Clodge story. So yeah, before we start, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Jill. Here in my channel, I make motherhood and lifestyle videos and I do vlogs as well. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post updates, pictures of our family, and I just want to be connected with you guys. If you haven't watched my Sir Collage story, I'm going to link it in the card. Um, so this video is whether the Sir Collage worked or did not work. So, I had the cir my circlage last August 5th, August 6th, I mean. I was 24 weeks that time, 24 weeks pregnant. So, after a week of my circlage surgery, I had a um, like cramps and I had a bleeding. So, it's not just like um, bleeding that's like um, spotting. It's not. It, there's a lot of blood. So, um, I think that was, yeah, the next week after my surgery at around 10 at night, 10 p.m. Um, like August 10th, I think. Yeah, August 10th. We went to the hospital, they admitted me, and then um, I was in the triage, like waiting for the doctor to like check me. But I was in the bed with my hospital gown and stuff like that. They monitored the baby's heartbeat. And then when I was there, the, contra the cramps, the crampings went away, but I was still bleeding. So the doctor like checked my cervix if the if the cerclage like uh, rip out or something. So he she um, checked through my uh, vagina with um like the clamp, and then she said that it's kind of visual, but um, she can see like through the hole. She can see the bag of water like that, like this. But when she did like um, internal, like IE, um, she said that she she still felt the the stitches is still there. So she needs to have a talk with the other doctors what they wanna do. And um, but they want me to they want me to be in the hospital overnight just to, to just to observe So I was in the hospital they admitted me they put like IVs and stuff like that and then they went uh, They put me in my room so around 11 at night 11 11 30 um, they checked me again and um it's like everything went so fast um went so fast and i can't even react because um i had like bad contractions like bad like i feel like i need to i need to give birth right now because i feel like it's so painful um but i they can't um, they can't deliver because my cerclage is still there and they need to like remove it and um, my baby is breached so um, if anything I need to be in the OR to, to have a emergency section c-section and then they're like uh, monitoring me they checking my cervix they i'm like i'm so much i'm in so much pain that i feel like it's unbearable anymore so they decided to have to to have um 
emergency, they call it crash C-section. Uh, I, I was so scared. I was so um, confused. I was so overwhelmed. Plus, Andrew was not there. But the doctor said, oh, you need to, if you want to call your husband to, like, come over, do it right now. So I called Andrew, and then he was staying in his mom's house because it's uh, near the hospital. So if if something happens, he can, like, come over right away. So I called him, and then they rushed me to the operating room. I didn't even think of giving birth because in the morning I, I, I feel fine. <sighs> Thinking about it makes me sad Cause, because I know that I know what's gonna happen. The baby's gonna stay in the NICU for a long time. And the complications are still there. Oh. So yeah, they they brought me to the operating room. They lay me on the bed, and they're gonna put me in um, general anesthesia. That I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep. All throughout the uh, the procedure, when when I called him, he said he's on his way. But it's just it happened so fast that he didn't even get into the room just to see our baby come out. And I didn't see her because I was asleep. And then they rushed her to the NICU because she's just twenty five weeks. She's so small. She's so small. Yeah, she was born August 11, 2020, at around 1.56 in the morning, weighing one pound. 13 ounces and she she's 12 inches long she's so small she's so small i don't want to put my baby in that position you know If I have a choice, <laughs> if I have a choice, I I can like take all the pain, all the contractions. Where she's in there, <laughs> as long as she's inside my belly, because I know she's gonna be safe there. Sometimes I, I blame myself for for the things that I'm like doing. Maybe I'm so tired or too much work. Maybe it's my fault that she came out early, three months early. It's just sad because I don't want to. I don't want her to feel all the the complications or the. I don't want her to have a hard time. Yeah, from uh, from the operating room, they wake me. They wake me up, and then they brought me to my room. And I saw Andrew there, and then I, I'm so I feel so tired. I, I'm in a lot of pain. 
um, so I can even like keep my eyes open because of the like the pain medicine that they're giving me and then um, my main nurse that who's taking care of me um, showed me my like the plus my placenta and it's ruptured so I think that's the that's the um, reason why I had to like um, give birth that's why I'm bleeding and having contractions not because of the cerclage because the cerclage is still there you know but it's just my body telling me that it's time so I stayed there they they moved me to um, postpartum it's just sad that I'm I'm the I'm in the postpartum room without my baby I remember when I gave birth with Alea she's in there she's in the room but that time my second baby no so I feel like it's different it's sad but I know that she's in the right place she's in the right care which is in the NICU that nurses will take care of her the doctors but it's just sad I didn't even pack my my hospital bag I used to, with Alea I overpacked but this time I didn't pack at all so it's it's sad like I don't know yeah like what I said it's but it's okay because I know that she's in the right hands she's in the right place the doctors and nurses are taking good care of her uh, so I was in a postpartum room they put me in like the medicine that you can like press every time you're in pain yeah I was in there um, I think for um, like the whole day that time I was just in bed but around 12 midnight on the 12th August 12th they removed my catheter and stuff like that and they said I need to start walking to to heal faster but man walking for the first time after after your surgery is hell it hurts so bad it hurts so bad I was walking like like this because it's so painful I, I feel like it, it's more painful than my birth with Alea I know it's different both of them are different but it's painful painful but I have a mindset that I need to be I need to heal faster so I can visit my baby so I can be with her in the NICU so I started walking even if it's painful I started um, pumping uh, uh, breast pump because I can't I can't breastfeed her so I started to pump and it, it hurts and then they asked me if um passing gas if yes it's a good sign so yeah I, I am and then I think on the 13th I they discharged me so I went home going home without your baby 
It's sad. I don't wish any moms or dads to go through that experience because it's not just the pain, physical pain that you're experiencing, but the emotional. Leaving your baby in the hospital and you going home, it's like, it's too much, it's... <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to go home knowing that your baby's in the hospital, but like what I said again, that I know that she's in the right place, right with the right people that's going to take care of her. That's the only consolation that, um, that I have in mind that I know that she's going to take care of there. I'm sorry if this, um, this video is... Um, too emotional that's why it's, it took me like um, months like few weeks to before I record this because I know this is gonna happen and I'm gonna cry in front of the camera <sighs> so watch out for my next video um, like the first time that I went to uh, to see my baby and her updates. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you like it. Give this a thumbs up if you do. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. If you have mommy video suggestions, leave it in the comment section and to be featured in my comment of the day. Salamat at mahal ko kayo and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!